Okay, okay, and I want to ask you a team in the NFC West. They came down today. They lost today, surprisingly. They actually look like the Arizona Cardinals of last week, what the Arizona Cardinals did to the New England Patriots. The Vikings beat, quote-unquote, the best team in the NFL right now, the San Francisco 49ers, 24-13 at home at the Mall of America Field. They grinded it out, they played fundamental football, didn't make mistakes, and they come out with a huge victory. Do you think that San, do you think this was just a bad week for San Francisco, or is this something that we might see in the future? I think it's just a flip of a ring on. Um, right now, San Francisco, obviously they're going to be dropped down from the power rankings because of this loss. But with the Niners, they have, they have, uh, they play defense. And they have a strong running game. Those are two things that are still, you know, very, uh, you know, very much essential to the NFL right now to play the game and everything else. Uh, especially, you know, when, when playoff time comes in, uh, that those two things are going to help them out a little bit more than hurt them. So I, I just think this is, is a blip on the radar. It just was a bad week for them. Uh, but other than that, Alex Smith has done pretty well. I mean, other than having an interception for like the first time in like weeks, like since week 12, I think, of last year, it's just a you know, that, that, it, it, it's just real, I think. Okay, I, I mean, rightfully so. I mean, that's a, that's a solid point, and uh, I know one thing that's not been blipping the road uh, ever since the post bounty system uh, for the New Orleans Saints. They've struggled, and it's shown. I mean, today, I don't usually go by the stats a lot, but Jamal Charles, 288 yards, total purpose, and the Saints had 288 yards. Uh, it seems to be a pretty telling stat here today. They fall down at home at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome. Uh, Ryan Suckup kicking the game winner. Uh, over there, are you? Do you think that the Saints have any chance whatsoever for the playoffs? And do you think, even after the season, even when they get Sean Payton back, do you think this might be the end of what what was a pretty solid team in, in years past? Well, after this year, I don't think they can really think of recover for this year. Uh, they seem to have lost their leader, which is Sean Payton, and you know. I, I, I guess by the looks of it, by the looks of what they're doing right now, they're not being inspired enough, and it really shows. Now, also they have a poor season where they've given up lots of big plays, and that kind of hurts them as well. But they missed that one cold effect that really has made them good over the past three, well, over the past three years, and during this game, and. Visibly, that, you know, that kind of has a lot to do with it, too. Um, you know, you, you have Drew Brees, he's, uh, he, he, he can do so much, and he had a very good game, but, it, you know, they really miss Sean Payton. And as for the future, it really depends on if they plan to move away from him. I don't think they will. I mean, he's been one of them. He's been pretty much, honestly, the most successful coach of the Saints have had. That, that's a good point on your part. I want to stick with the NFC because something extraordinary just happened for the Cardinals. Michael Vick in the, inside the red zone, sack, stripped, fumble. Arizona takes it all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. They're leading 24 to zero, and it's halftime. So yeah, the wild card point that you make, I think that's pretty valid just for the for the fact of what's going on in this game so far. I think you're right about that, and I want to talk about Philadelphia too. Because Philly had a really dramatic win against Baltimore last week. Here today, huge hole, 24 to zero on the road. 
and it just seems to me like they're inconsistent. I they've got a ton of talent, but it's you don't see that same consistency that we've seen in Andy Reid's teams in the past. Do you think it might be the end of Andy Reid? Because I, I've been at times I've been thinking that, and and the identity I've seen in the Philadelphia Eagles, it's it's kind of they've kind of taken uh, the ways of what Andy Reid has done currently right now. I, I feel like Andy Reid hasn't controlled the situation properly. So do you think this might be the end for Andy Reid? Yeah, but but you under, you understand where I'm coming from, though. I mean, I know, and the loss of his son. I mean, that's just tragic and that's horrific. But when you look at it from the football perspective, I mean, when you're turning the football regularly and you're turning it over a lot, you gotta look at the head coach. I mean, that's gotta stop somehow. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. I just that's just what I what I think personally. And um, lastly, I want to uh, get to a point here. Uh, what is your overall? What do you? What has been the most surprise? I want, this is going to be the last question of the day. What is the most surprising thing for you this whole entire week? Because we've seen crazy, bizarre things happen this week. What can you take out of this week three in this NFL season? And what do you think you might see in the future from some of these teams that you've seen today? It's been a lot of chaos. Uh, first of all, I was watching the Dallas. Said Lamar, 6 p.m. Central, 
4 p.m. Pacific and 7 p.m. Eastern, you will be on this channel. And you, people, please listen. This is a debut of a great show. He's going to be co-hosting uh, with his friend. It's he, he's really knowledgeable about sports. Let, who knows? Maybe he'll talk about some NFL uh, tomorrow. So it's going to be a great show tomorrow. Hope you guys tune in and thank you, Lamar. Thank you very much, Captain. All right. That was Lamar Gafford from the Time Shrub Report in Louisiana. He's got his own blog. You were just thinking it dot blogspot dot com. You can call in right now. 949-456-2911. We'll get to more of the live look-ins. Uh, we actually have a live look-in in Oakland. It's 4th and 2 for Oakland. Sebastian Janikowski will be getting ready to kick, but actually there's a 2-minute warning over there in Oaktown. So, at the mile high, we have an update there. Wide receiver reverse. The Houston Texans are now knocking on the doorway at the 36, maybe 37, I believe, uh, over there. So, quick break, and we'll come back. Please stay tuned. I'll be back in 30 seconds. All right, we have a caller. Uh, real quickly, wait, wait a second, caller. Uh, those of you who are back, who are listening, this is a NFL show, all NFL live look-ins, uh, live coverage here on National Sports On Air. Um, so, Chris, or, well, I'm, I believe it's, I'm not really sure who it is, but, uh, we'll, we'll see who it is. Uh, hello, are you here? I don't know which caller this is, but, hello, who are you? Okay, so I thought it was someone else, but I guess I got a dude named Chandra. Uh, okay, yes, Chandra, what do you want to talk about in regards to the NFL? Oh, I want to talk about uh, Oakland 0-2 and going to the first killer. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, yes, yes, sir. Um, yeah, Oakland is suffering right now 14 to 7 they actually have an opportunity uh, to kick a field goal here with Sebastian Janikowski um, so you think they're gonna go 0-3 or uh, what are you what are your thoughts about Oakland do you think they're the worst team in the NFL uh, no I think uh, I think uh, Cliff Kingsbury is gonna be the worst team in the NFL and I think uh, Oakland better than Jacksonville Jaguars uh, uh, New Orleans Saints don't look good. Uh, uh, I, uh, you know, other teams, no good. I don't think Oakland was a team in the NFL. They're in the club, they running back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sir. Um, alright. So, okay, um, I don't know how to follow up on that. Oakland is, but Oakland's, you know, they're keeping this pretty close. I mean, they're not down by a lot. Do you? What do you? Do, how do you think uh, Dennis Allen as the head coach? How do you think he has performed so far with this uh, Oakland team in his first year? Uh, well, uh, Oakland seems to have new head coach every season. Uh, last year it was uh, and the year before it was Tom Cable. So it seems like uh, you know. Uh, uh, we can have new coach every 